let's take a look at some of the key differences and reasons to upgrade from Vocaline Project 5 to Vocaline 6 Standard. Now for Vocaline 6 Standard and Vocaline 6 Pro, these both feature a dark mode GUI. So this can be a little bit easier on the eyes, especially if you're working late or working in super long studio sessions. Secondly, we see a massive improvement with respect to navigation and very basic things, just like zooming in and out on very specific areas. Now, in addition to that, we also have the ability to maximize our screen real estate by showing or hiding different panels. So for example, in this case, if I wanted to temporarily maximize my screen real estate, if I was working on perhaps a smaller laptop screen, or if I'm working on a bigger screen, such as this 27 inch 4K monitor, I can have everything open and I can enlarge this as much as I want. Now, in addition to that, this may seem small, but we also have the ability to do an undo and a redo. So sometimes you might have made some changes to a preset that you're working with and you want to try different settings and see how these sound, but then you need to get back to where you were previously. We can just click the undo a couple times. This gets us back to where we were. And then if I wanted to compare that to the results that I had changed manually, I can just click the redo key a couple of times and we have the ability to go back and forth between those different presets. But by far, one of the biggest changes that we see is if you are a Pro Tools user, of course, having the ability to work with ARA. So with both of these clips selected, I'm just gonna right click and choose the option to edit with Vocaline 6 standard. Now from here, just need to choose my guide and then I just choose my dub. And then these are automatically ready for instant playback. I'd fight all your fire, carry your pain, and turn it lighter. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away. Now, in addition to simply having the benefit of being able to instantly addition any changes that you've made, we also have some differences in terms of the display options. So in terms of our timescale units, we have the ability to go into a bars and beats mode versus our standard time display. So this can be really useful just in terms of having everything follow properly in terms of your timeline in Pro Tools and your actual timeline in the Vocaline editor. And as you can see over here, as I click in the Vocaline 6 standard GUI, this is updating in the Pro Tools timeline. And then of course, once you're happy with the results, it's just a matter of right clicking the clip and we have the option to render. And you can do this on the original playlist or on a backup playlist as needed. Now, when working in non-ARA based DAWs, such as Ableton Live, one thing that used to previously have to happen is that if you needed to capture multiple dub tracks, that is to say you had a lead vocal and maybe you wanted to adjust the timing on anywhere between two or five different vocals, you would have had to capture those in real time, one at a time. With Vocaline 6 standard, we have the ability to hold the shift modifier key. And then if we click the capture, notice now that the dub has been set and in capture mode for both of these tracks together. So now at this point, it's just a matter of going back to the beginning of where we need to, and we can enable a capture. So now, as opposed to having to do that in two separate steps, take note that each one of these plugins has the guide and the dub that's been loaded. And now we can go ahead and get on with our work. So that's just some of the enhancements that we see in terms of changes between Vocaline Project 5 and Vocaline 6 Standard. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.